If you've just installed a blade on your saw stop cast iron table saw, it's time to check and possibly adjust the blade break spacing. This is also the process to follow if you're experiencing problems powering up your saw and the LEDs on the control panel are flashing the brake cartridge position error. First, disconnect power to the saw. Next, set the tilt of the saw to zero degrees. Elevate the blade to approximately one and a half inches above the tabletop. Remove the table insert and set it aside. Release the clamp handle to remove the blade guard or riving knife and set it aside as well. Next, check the spacing between the blade and the brake. Most of the time, the brake and blade will be spaced closer together at the top point of the brake compared to the bottom point of the brake, but you should always check the spacing at both points. Using the blade spacing adjustment gauge or a US nickel, carefully place it flat against the top point of the brake. While holding the gauge between the brake and blade, rotate the blade a full revolution by hand. The teeth of the blade should just skim the gauge or nickel when the blade is rotated. While the exact distance between the blade and brake is not critical, it is important to make sure the blade teeth do not touch the brake pawl. If the blade and brake are positioned too closely, you'll need to increase the spacing between the blade and brake. To increase the spacing, locate the yellow brake positioning bolt at the top of the arbor block. Place the 8mm hex key into the brake positioning bolt and turn it counterclockwise to increase the spacing. If the brake is positioned too far from the blade and the spacing needs to be decreased, turn the hex key clockwise in the brake positioning bolt. Adjust as needed to set the correct spacing. Verify the distance at the top of the brake, then move the gauge or nickel to the bottom point of the brake, making sure it's positioned flat against the brake pawl. Rotate the blade a full revolution by hand to verify that the blade and brake do not touch. Once you've adjusted the brake spacing accordingly, replace the table insert. Restore power to the saw and turn it on. The saw should power up normally and the LEDs should display the system-ready solid green status code.